Hey everybody, welcome to the Harmonix Twitch stream. I am Josh Harrison and I am super excited about what we are doing today. Um, normally we, we stream our, our games that are out in the wild and show new DLC for Rock Band and that kind of stuff, but we are showing Drop Mix for the very first the time. World premiere. World premiere. We, uh, we revealed this game on Friday um, and it had uh, live demos at South by Southwest, but the majority of the world has not seen this game in action. So this is true. super, super excited to be showing this. Um, so as I said, I'm Josh. You know me. I'm on all the streams. I am joined by Sky. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm Sky. I'm the associate producer on the Drop Mix team, handling all of the cool card art. Nice. And uh, then we're also joined by you, Hello. Jonathan. I'm Jonathan Mintz. I'm the creative lead on the Drop Mix team. So I've been working on this for a couple of years and super psyched to finally have the chance to show this off to everybody. I know. Like a couple of years. This has been a long time in the <laughs> making and we've had to keep this secret yes. for quite a while. <laughs> it's great to be able to talk about it. So uh, yeah, we're going to run through um, a demo of like the tech and then show you a bunch of gameplay. So yeah. yeah. You ready for it? Sure. Should we give Should we give the overview about what Drop Mix is? Sure. Right. Let's Let's go high level to okay. start out. So high level, Drop Mix is fast paced music mixing card game that we at Harmonix have developed in collaboration with our partners at Hasbro, who have helped us build this super cool hardware that we're showing off today. Um, it allows you to create a custom mix of some hit music, some of your favorite songs, uh, and use that to sort of dominate the mix. Uh, play your music, knock your opponent out of the mix in clash mode, which we'll be showing off today. Create some mind-blowing mixes, save them, and show them off. We'll show you how that works in the game today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's a basic introduction. Sure. But it's one thing to kind of talk about making mind-blowing mixes and another right. thing to actually mm -hmm. make it happen. Sure. So, do you feel ready I to do. bring the magic, Josh? I the do power feel is ready. in your hands. So, talk about what is in this thing. This is not just a piece of cardboard. Right. It's so magic. It is, it is, yeah, it's pure harmonics magic in there with a little Hasbro fairy dust uh, sprinkled on top. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just drop this down Just here. try dropping that red card into the red slot there. <laughs> so as soon as you put a drop mix card onto the board, you're going to see the board light up. You're going to hear that music play. But it's one thing to just kind of kick off a sample. It's another thing to start mixing music. So Josh dropped in this red card. That's sort of a melodic loop. It's a guitar part. Um, from Run DMCs, it's tricky. Yep. So, you know, it's one thing to get the guitar going. Let's drop a beat. So, you've immediately brought in the drum part from Church's Mother You Share. The game automatically adapts the tempo and key and everything of the cards that we drop to make everything mix together seamlessly. We got classic hip hop, electronic pop. Uh, Josh just dropped in some country guitar, courtesy of Sam Hunt, that's sort of in the green bass and harmony slot. Got a good mix going, I'll throw in a vocal. I do, I do. Yes. So drop in the Carly Rae Jepsen, Call Me Baby vocal. The game's making everything work seamlessly. So you've kind of seen the four basic colored cards. Yellow are sort of your leads, those are kind of primary vocals and things like that. Red are sort of melodic loops that kind of fill in the melodies of the song. And I love, that, uh, I love that it's also uh, changing everything into a minor key yes. as well. Yep. So making everything kind of kind of yes. mesh. The first card you play will kind of set the tempo and key, major or minor. Um, but then there's also cards that can mix that. Right. So this is a wild. Let's see what that does. <laughs> so Jazz just dropped this disturbed wild card into the mix. When a wild card gets played, it changes the key and tempo, so it takes over the whole mix. And wild cards, as you see from sort of the four symbols on the bottom of the card, contain multiple parts of a track. So when you drop that into play in a split spot like Josh did, you're getting the guitar part and you're also getting the beat from Disturbed layered in with the Run DMC guitar and the church's beat that you're already hearing. If you put that wild card in a different spot, like maybe the green blue slot, now you're going to get those drums from Disturbed, you're going to get some bass guitar from them in there. Nice. Super aggro, Crowley Ray Jepsen next here. 
But let's say you were tired of hearing Carly Rae Jepsen, you could also move that Disturbed card over to the yellow and the red slot. I can see inside. Nice. So we pulled out some cards, we create a little bit of space in the mix. Can lay those other pieces yeah. back in there. Nice. This is just a tech, but uh jump into a game. Yeah. So one thing I'll point out before we jump into gameplay. So you'll see there's this little level meter in the corners of the cards up there. Right now they all happen to be level 2 cards. We have a graphic that Troy is pulling up. Nice. So what you see there is that all the cards, level 1, 2, or 3, that kind of represents how intense that music is. Um, that particular sample that's associated with that card. And so in Clash Mode, you're trying to knock your opponent's music out of the mix. So when you do that, you're going to want to use music of equal or higher level. And so we'll sort of see how that works as we start playing. So, yeah, I think that's all the setup. You want to jump into the game, Josh? Yeah. You ready cool. to play me? I am, I am. So, so I'm actually going to play with an open hand because we do have a, uh, an overhead camera here so everybody can, <laughs> can see what's going on from a top-down view. Where's the camera? No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, so these are these decks. So what you see Josh doing here is he's separating some of the cards we were using to demo back into these themed decks that Sky has in front of her. Um, this represents some, but not all, of what the starter pack uh, music is going to be. So there will be four themed mixes in the starter pack. The Highness Hip Hop Mix, the Blade Rock Mix, the Sweets Pop Mix, and the Controller Electronic Mix. So sort of loose genre themes, and they're represented by the little symbols that you'll see in the corner of the cards, and then we'll see them in game as we register our decks. Yeah. So Josh, you haven't played in a little while, so which one do you want? Pick your first deck. Take electronic. Cool. Josh grabbed the controller deck. So if we were playing in two versus two, each player of the four players would grab a 15 card stack. But we're playing one on one, so you're going to grab two playlists and sort of shuffle them together. So you want to pick Sky? I'm going for Highness Hip Hop deck. Okay. All right. I'll take Sweets. All right. And the Blade. And cool. The blade. So go ahead and shuffle those together. Can I get a. Derek to bring me the iPad so I can see what Twitch chat is uh, saying about nice. all this. I do want to remind everybody these are uh, prototype cards, and this is prototype gameplay. Prototype hardware. Yes. Like, yeah, all, so. of these, all of these are, you know. Um, it's an early look. Thank you. Sweet. So one cool thing that we haven't really shown off yet um, is that I'm going to tap in here so that we start up the game mode. So the board lights up. It's kind of showing if you were playing two on two, you could put two decks down on each team's side. But these readers can actually read a full stack of cards. So you see that Josh has a bunch of cards there. He has the sweets mix in the play. Sky has a bunch of cards over there. Has the uh, highness mix. Cool. Go ahead and hit that drop mix button. Nice. So that's something really neat that this whole thing can read in a whole deck of cards and know what you're playing with. Sweets. Cool. So the game randomly picks a player to go first. <laughs> and so the goal of this Clash game mode is to put your cards into play, score some points, dominate the mix. Normally we'd be playing to 21 points, but for demo purposes today and because we're not playing with all of the cards we're going to eventually have in the starter pack, we're playing to 15 points. So the first player to 15 points is going to be the winner. Sweet hand, Sky. <laughs> <laughs> so Sky has been randomly chosen to go first. <gasps> so exciting. And one-on-one -on -one play, as we're doing today, each player gets to do two actions on the tur their turn. So normally they're going to play cards and score some points. So Sky drops that Run DMC guitar part into play, scores a point for that. Drops a sweet new metal bass. Oh, sorry, you got all beat. Excuse me. <laughs> got excited. Uh, one of my favorite pieces of art, by the way, these ridiculous This is also my favorite piece of art. I would yeah. like that notice. <laughs> Full it was, back it was so perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so you see this guy has dropped a blue and a red card into play. She scored two points for that. The game automatically knows when you've taken two actions. It lights up your side of the board to show that you're the player who controls those cards. And then it goes over to the other player's side. 
So Josh now gets to put a couple of cards into play. The one thing that sort of makes you think about what you might choose to play at a certain time is that there's bonuses for bringing new colors into the mix. So right now there's no green or yellow cards in the mix. Sky chose to put a red card into this block. I was block. blocking you. Trying oh. to block out Josh. Okay. Uh, okay, strategy. Could have blocked him. <laughs> I, I only had two turns. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, so, if Josh was to put in, say, a green card into the mix. Yeah, you scored. can see it blowing in the... It gets there. Is that right, Troy? Am I pointing to the right place? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the little green slot glowing, so you know that you get a bonus on that. So I'll get two nice. for dropping the Jason Carrillo base. Nice. Um, and then so... So you can see that Josh has only red and blue cards in his hands right now, so he can choose to fill out the mix a little bit more. The reason he might want to do that is that if as a player you're able to take over all five slots, you'll get a bonus point for doing that, or he can choose to play over Sky's card. Instead he's stacking some beats, Yep. drop that church's beat in, scores a point for that, kicks it back over to Sky. So what? in a one-on-one -on -one game, you'll take two actions and draw two cards every turn. Let's see, what do I want to do? I think that I'm going to mix it up a little bit and grab Ooh, Nice, so points. check this Ooh. out. Nice. Know what boy this guy's dropped that Childish Gambino card into play. So that scored her a bonus point because it added uh, yellow vocals into the mix that we were playing before. Also changed up the key and tempo, so now we kind of got this chiller mix. And yeah, there you go. Brings in a horn part of the cake over there. So. Good luck trying to beat me. I know, I know. Guy has played a little bit more than <laughs> I know. Got you over here. So I'm going to over get those, your, get those uh, cake horns out of the mix. Yep. Don't they were so those. sweet. I know. And then uh, how you can play it. You can try and take over the board. So one thing that's really cool to note about how the music builds in this game is that because there's different colors in play and the players get to choose what colors they drop at a time. If you replace Sky's blue card with a red card, you now drop some of the beats out of the mix brought in this horn part from Ricky Martin. So the mix kind of not only changes in content, it also changes in form, the types of instrumentation, the types of sound that you're hearing as you play. Uh, I, I'm pretty psyched about that, you know, just the opportunity to sort of let players craft their mixes, drop out the bass and then have a big bass drop or let the vocals out for a while. Things like that are really cool to sort of see as the mix evolves. Well, Josh, I see that you have three slots full of cards, so I'm going to try to knock you out. All right. Yes. So Sky has hit the equalizer button. Yes! The equalizer <laughs> spins this wheel that you see on screen or possibly yes. above my head, depending on how Troy has it set up. It's up there. If it lands on a one, two, or three, it's going to clear all of your opponent's cards that match that value. So, yeah, I have three cards that have a two value. I almost played that so that I would be not at as much at risk right. here, but I do have to take these out. Side, put those sort of in a disco pile. So when that happens, you sort of clear the whole mix. The, play, the player who loses cards also loses points. So there's an incentive to sort of mix up level values that you have in the mix at any time. And now I have bonus opportunities. Right. So Sky knocked out the beat. So she brings in that Run DMC drum part. She also chose to drop it into the green and blue slot, making it a little harder for Josh to drop green back into the mix. I've got strategy for days. Do. <laughs> so I have two things that I can do here. Um, so I'm actually going to do like a slightly advanced oh. thing here. Oh. We're talking about strategy. Yeah. So right now there's no yellow bonus. Um, but if I play this red card here, it takes your Childish Gambino out gives me a point for dropping that, and opens up my yellow bonus, which gives me room to drop this yellow Jason Rulo card, and now I get the double points for that. Nice. Thank you, smart. <laughs> so one important thing to know is that any card you want to replace, you have to be able to meet or beat that level value. So if Sky wants to try and drop a green card in here, she would need a three, and she'd do it. Boom. Yep, sure can. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Sky dropped out the beat, brought in that weekend bass part. Now she's dropping this flow ride of guitar. And back over to Josh. The sky's about halfway there. You can sort of see the score meters on the screen fell up. So we're playing a 15 point game. So. So I can get the blue bonus. Playing that duck sauce. Um, and then I'm going to. So you can uh, play cards over your own cards and still get points. So I can change my rookie Martin to a James Landino, for example. Nice. So I'm super psyched. As lead designer of Amplitude, I was really excited to be able to get one of the tracks from Amplitude into this game. Yep. James also did a bunch of audio design and composition for this project. It's pretty cool that we got an Amplitude track from James into the starter pack. How did we land that? <laughs> James Landino. He is extremely expensive. Yeah. Uh, actually, I had to say that right now. He, you know, that was part of his contract was that I call him out on this stream. Yeah. He's really good at branding. Okay, Josh, I hope you're ready for this. I am very ready. Oh my god. Alright, so Drop. Sky... Oh no! Oh. Oh. No! No! <laughs> Shut up. Sky has played the first effects card. So effects card, each one has a different gameplay changing effect. The one that Sky just played clears all of your opponent's blue cards from the mix. So Josh had to remove his blue beat. There's yeah, no blues in play. Mm. Sky brought, drops the beat again, snags that blue bonus, takes the lead. So each deck contains different effects cards that have slightly different gameplay uh, powers and abilities. That can, so you can sort of craft your strategy around the effects cards you're stocking. Oh, I am drunk. <laughs> so people in chat are talking about how good every mix sounds. So do we want to talk about being yes. able to save a mix? So if people in chat are saying, hey, this sounds pretty cool, go ahead and save that mix. Yep. So if you didn't see where I tapped, it's in the upper right-hand corner of the, uh, the app display. <laughs> All the possibly up here, right up there, yeah. just in the upper right hand corner next to the eight, and then I'll save the mix and we can go in later and review what we what we saved. Um, All right, Josh, you yeah, lost your so beat. Did lose my beat. Guys got <laughs> four cards in play to your so one. You coach him, Jonathan. And so, I mean, he's playing now, openly. He's the he's the newbie here. So, so it is also pretty likely if I spin the equalizer that I'm going to get one of your cards because you've got one, two, and three. There's right. only that little sliver. Yep. So I can hit the drop next button. So one key thing to note is that threes are the easiest to play, but they're the most likely to get cleared. So Sky has lost her level two, so we'll just clear out all the cards on that slot, kind of return it to an empty state. All right. So that opened up some space. It cost Sky a point. So there's no color red. Right. Doesn't leave a bonus for you. So how are you going to play it? You can just fill out the mix, try and own more of the board. Yeah. All right. Love that Bill Zantium. It's good. It's good beat. Good beat. So the question is, if Sky can play over Josh's yellow and blue cards here, she would take the whole mix and get a full card, full mix bonus. You know, Jonathan, you kind of read my mind. <laughs> Somebody in chat is asking how often you can use the equalizer, which is from hitting the drop mix button. You can do that as much as you want. Oh! Oh! oh. Nice. Scores a bonus point for that. Mm. Drops that sweet. That's one of my favorite vocal cards in Tribe Called Quest scenario yes. vocals. Yeah. I was waiting on that. I was yep. I know. I was talking to the chat. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, wild so distracted. if I wanted to, I right. mean, like, right now it would be dumb for me to not equalize. But right. It's a great time to try and knock Sky back. She's got the whole mix, so you might as well try and... But if I don't have anything I can do, I can spin twice as both my actions for the turn. Correct. You'll see little... Uh, Indicators on screen directly under the score. The game actually tracks the plays that you make, shows them on the screen. If you drop a card and change your mind, you can even pull back a card. All right, so let's see what we got. You're hoping for that three. Oh. I, I believe that counts as a miss. Yes, it does. Yes, so, <laughs> so I can still get two points on this turn, though. Yes, you can. Uh, because I can play an effects card, yep. which lets me play an extra vocals card. And so I can play Sia over your... What was that? Tribe Called Quest? Tribe Called Quest. Yep. 
All right. The question what? is, yeah, can you win this does Sky though? have two plays that she can make? Get those two points she needs to finish off the game. I think I do. I really like the piano part on the effects card. Hmm. All the effects cards have original music composed by our audio team. I seem to have gotten too cocky. <laughs> Getting to drop there. You don't have the plays, huh? I may have the plays. Okay. You can't play that. Level too too low, low, too low. Game yells at okay. you. Okay. Keep doing that. Okay. So that, if you had any blue cards, would get you bonus points. But I did not. You don't have any blue cards, you still get a bonus for dropping yeah. it. Because what do you I got? don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, another effects. I think that might get you yeah. just That's enough 15. points to win. Yep. Yeah. That is exactly 15. <laughs> Technical <you> victory <laughs> victory <laughs> with with those effects guys. <laughs> See here's I think that the only reason you won is because I'm playing with an exposed hand, so we can see. Yes, that's true. Have I did notice this guy peeking a lot and, you know, blocking your plays. Yeah. I, I mean, to be, to be fair, awesome. there were some misplays, Josh, that you made. Quite a few, uh, actually. You know, I wanted to make sure you had the chance to explain to everybody how to play. Sure. But, you know, you did play it over your own card instead of filling out the mix and stuff like that. Well, if you play over your own card... Then, uh, if you play over their card, then the equalizer has potentially a higher That's impact true. towards you. Yep. So there's like it's the double edged sword. Double edged sword. Yeah. Much like the blade. So, Much one like thing that we were talking about, I'm going to tap back to the main menu here just so that everybody can see the saved mixes. So, shows most recent saved mixes first. So, when I tap this, it's actually going to replay the mix in the order that it came during your game because the order that you play the card actually establishes the tempo and key. So even the same set of cards played in a different order may sound very different just because of key changes and tempo variations and so on. And the thing that is my favorite about what we're doing here um, is that this button uh, in the upper right hand corner with that camera icon lets you actually export this to your camera roll on your phone. Yeah. So then you can text it to your friends or whatever you want to do with yeah. having I a video on your phone. I should have a snapshot of me winning. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, didn't do that. Sorry. We have, my friends and followers. You are on yeah. camera, so. You can also see that at later. the bottom there what the uh, the tempo and the key is, and I think they can probably see the little tick marks along the bottom. Yep. Right, Troy? Yeah. Kind of shows the loop playing back. Yeah. So it's what? 32 beats? 32 bars, yeah. 32 bars, yeah. Thinking about loop parts. <laughs> Are we doing a rematch? Alright, uh, yes. rematch? Yeah, I am not ending this. We are playing until... What are you doing? Six. Hey, right. I don't mind beating you again. Okay. I've got plenty of time. Okay. I mean, we could say it's best two out of three until you win the second game, and then it's got to be best three out of five. And <laughs> yeah, well... I feel like this was Bill and Ted's bogus journey or something. Yes, the Reverend Puck. Yes, it'll <laughs> post to your camera roll, so you can definitely send that wherever you want. <gasps> Oops, I dropped my cards. See, at least I didn't no. do that. I was shuffling. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to play again. Cool. So we're tagging in the decks. All right. Yep. Hit that. Oh, hit oh, that button. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've got to hit the button. Yeah, we got to hit the button to tag it in. Cool. All right. I'm so eager. I know. He's got to get his revenge. I know. It's true. Highness. It's not going to happen. Controller. So, yeah, one of the cool things about this is that just depending on the cards you draw first, who goes first, you're going to wind up, like I said, because the same cards played in a different order can sound pretty different, you're going to wind up getting different feeling mixes whenever you play. So this time, Josh gets Absolutely to start first. Carly Rae. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you thinking? I'm going to do the beat, you know? Yeah. It'll sound good at least. Yeah, that's true. Good drop. All right, scores his two points, kicks it over to Sky. Green donuts. Get that Tribe Called Get Quest baseline in play. Does she have a red card to follow it up? I'm not. Not See, seeing it. Play. I should have played either there or there to block out. Well, should have played there. Yeah. I'll teach you as we go. Just okay. <laughs> okay. It's true. Oh, no, I'm uh, Draw your two. Oh, sorry. Play Always two. Oh, again. yeah. Play your yeah. card. Yeah. Uh, so I can get this red bonus. All right. Here. You could, you could uh, set up a little combo. 
Do you, do you see it? Let's see, let's see. Come let's on, see. Scott. Come on. Let's I gotta help him. So with your, this. you could do that, or with your effect card. Well, let's show him how you could take back moves, maybe. So yeah. you just put that down. If you pull it back, you can see that the score will go back to the way you have it before. So it's up to you. You can try and snag that red bonus, or you can combo. Well, those you can get the two. red and the yellow bonus. So I can oh, get four that's points. That's true. So if I do that, all right, yellow all right, mix, yep. and then I bring it back. So I get four points. But it leaves that red bonus open for Sky. It does. It does. And she, she, she already told us that she was going to snag that. Yeah. <laughs> Toast. Toast going to snag that. And. We got. I really enjoy those those cake vote or horns I rather know. when they're sort of slowed down like that. All right, Sky drops an effects card. So that just lets her snag an extra card, which is handy. Yeah, but it didn't help me. Uh, but also makes it harder for Josh to play into that slot. Exactly, Josh. So he's got that going for her. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. All right. So... So you got a couple options here. You can do that combo play. Yeah, so I can either do that... You got a couple... Do you want me to tell our viewers what the uh, the effects cards you're holding do? Yeah, so, uh, so this one here... That symbol, if you could see it, uh, uh, is like a base boost, so that gives you two bonus points if you control the green slot when you play it. Uh, that one takes two points away from your opponent, and that one will clear a random opponent card. And this is some of my favorite art. It's yeah. just so, so crazy. Yeah, the freaky... Uh, so I'm going to take right. some... Uh, yep, so drop that. Green back here. Steal that from Sky, and then just you can choose which of her cards you want to play over there. Uh... It's gonna be a little harder for her to play into the blue slot because that's that has uh, the three in the middle yeah. blue slot there. So yeah, I want to do that. All right. So that will be a three-point drop for you. Nice, taking big lead. So that's like a decent board position. You got a lot of points ahead. You only have three cards on the board. Yeah, yeah. Uh, card sleeves do not. Interrupt the RFID signal, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were play testing for a long time with sleeve cards. Then these are the test prints we got for this weekend. Oh, so Sky was able to snag that blue bonus. Okay. How does she follow it up? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> I do that every time. Why do I do that? It can you go could... anywhere. There you go. So that one, similar to the base boost that Josh played, this is a beat boost that Sky has in her deck. High game! Alright Josh, draw your two. Yeah. Okay. So... I can... So there's no... Well, there's a bonus. Oh, there's yep. a green bonus that I could do. That's true. You could... Oh, see, I know what I would do, but... Do you want, me to, do you want me to coach you, or do you want me to let Let's you decide? <laughs> do you... Let, me, let me think this through. Okay. So, I've got so I've got the wild, which I can put in either of these slots. Uh, that's true. So uh, wilds is important to know count as whatever colors of the slot they're played into. Yep. So if you played it here, you would capture that um, red bonus right now. If somehow you were able to replace Sky's beat card before you did that, you would be able to capture a blue and a red bonus when you drop that wild. Yeah. <laughs> If somehow I was able to do that, like yep. taking two points away like from Like taking her. two points away from Sky, Why knocking the beat Jonathan? out of the mix. Jonathan does not ship with each game, by the way. Yes, but everybody's watching me, so they'll, they'll know all the pro tips. <laughs> Get now you I'm one point there. away from victory. Right I love that Skrillex card. Yeah, it's good. All right, Sky. I mean, I feel like you. Yeah, I feel like you got to get aggressive here. I am. You're way behind. Good. Really looking for something big here. Oh, oh it's. A <laughs> That's a whiff. Oh God. Um. All right. How many blue cards do you have down? <laughs> Wait, are you just you just openly staring? Okay. So Sky played the clear all opponent beats from the mix. Which right now that Skrillex in the blue red slot counts as a beat card, so it gets knocked out there. Wow, lots of bonuses. I think that's on the, the end of your turn. Alright, so. Oh, that's the Can end. Josh put down his. Okay. I think he's got it. Boom. That blue. Oh, that'll get you one point. No, it gets me two. Oh, sorry, the there's no red. Sorry, yeah. sorry. You got me one this time. Yes. He drew, he drew into some good combos yeah, that he was yeah. able to take advantage of right there. Sure did. 
Look at the draw. Really weird, spacey, yeah. sort of like, uh, like effects heavy mix here. Um, somebody's asking how exporting a mix works exactly. Um, it'll save as a video on your phone, so it'll play through the entire uh, 32 bars of the save yes. mix from start to finish. Oh, sorry. So now we All definitely right. so need So now it is breaker. best two out of three. Yeah. This one. For all, People all the, are upset all the that a Jonathan moment. does not ship with each green. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy to do. No, uh, no, I will oh, not. No. I will. I will not do house calls. Uh, but I'm happy to do more streams. Uh, with pro tips. With pro tips. Can we call them Jonathan's pro tips? <laughs> we can. Jonathan's uh, John makes pro tips. What size sleeves work? These are just standard size cards, right? Yeah, I mean, like we've been, we've been playing work? with you know, we've been going to just the the, the local store. card shop. Yeah. Shout out to. Pandemonium in Cambridge uh, for anybody from the area. Um, we've just been picking up standard sort of kind of same cards you would get for our sleeves you would get for magic cards and stuff like that. Um, as Josh noted at the top of the stream, these are prototype cards. So they're not, you know, they get a little worn. They're not final materials and everything. And we had one that we had to hack a little yes. bit, which you might have seen. You may have noticed that it's in somebody's Did deck. That, it? yeah. It's in mine, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Josh gets to go first once again. Okay. Let's see if you can capitalize on this. All right. So I wanna. Here you going. Drop that. Darula Vocal. I'll block the green as best I can. Okay. That Afrojack beat. Played our party. Yeah, so I got fun. to meet him. He, nice. was, he, was, he had a super, I don't know, it was, it was crazy because you never know how somebody's going to react when they right. see this. Um, he was having a fun time just sort of like picking up cards, putting them down, trying to figure out how quickly you could like cut between two vocals and things like that. A lot of the songs that we were demoing in this mix were in his set. Uh, stuff like the Chainsmokers Closer and stuff like that. Get that big bouncy flow ride of guitar part. Oh! You're really gonna bring down the mood, Sky. <laughs> okay. So that's one of my favorite. Doing that Jason Derulo vocal transition from major yeah. designer, so it just goes from really like happy to sort of like, you know, a little, little bit spooky vocal, you know? I like spooky stuff. <laughs> I don't have a ton that I can play here. Let's see what you got. Um... Yep, you drop that beat, just try and fill out the mix a little bit. Yeah. Taking over the mix with a lot of low value cards sometimes be a good position just to block bonuses and avoid being uh, vulnerable to the equalizer. Oh. Tie game right now. Oh, Sky, I think is locked out there. A little okay. bit, a little oh, bit. Oh, and. Oh, oh, well. yeah. Josh has no level one cards in the mix, no. so nothing to eliminate. Uh, Let's give him room for a comeback here. All right, what do we got? So Sky, because she's playing the Blade Rock deck, has a card that lets her drop a bonus guitar card. There you go. So drop the bass guitar from Tribe Called Quest scenario. One cool thing that Rock Band fans might find interesting is that we sort of separate instrument from type, right? A Rock Band, bass is always bass, guitar is always guitar. Here, you know, guitar could count as a bass guitar, could count as a melodic uh, loop guitar. Yep. So it kind of changes how you think about instrumentation. Some of the guys, uh, like Nate and Jose, have been testing this and thinking about instrument combos and decks that they want to build to sort of take advantage of weird instrument combos and synergies. Spinning. Alright, all right. what's it going to be? Good. That's looking good. Alright, that go. would be a three. So Get that gets Flo Rida out. It gets red out of the mix. Yep, so I can play... And drop that Chainsmokers yeah. loop. Nice. Yes. And I got three low-level blues here. Oh, Josh, Josh is like sorting his hand over here. You're being very transparent for, uh, for Sky. Yeah. I know. <laughs> well, I'm being transparent for them. Yeah. If I can make you like wear earmuffs like... and blinders, that'd be great. 
We'll have to build a cone of silence for the next <laughs> live stream. I like that. Okay, let's see. What am I gonna do here? Hmm. Ooh. It's gonna be. I'm just gonna peek over here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Can you set up a? Oh no, not quite. Not no, quite. Not yeah. Quite. Yeah. I mean, he's got he's got threes in there, so you could take take your chances. I think I will take my chances. Lieutenant Hummus is asking about the equalizer. Um, it only removes your Wait. opponent's cards at that value. Right. So nothing. Nothing. Josh is bulletproof. You can try again. Uh, if you want to miss again. Ooh. Okay, okay. just take over that chain smokers loop, bringing that Ed Sheeran okay. guitar. Okay. Um so oh, man, it's I still don't a tie have game that I can yeah. do here. Um so you've got a one and twos. So spinning isn't great. So I got more than a fifty percent chance right. nothing will happen. So you can always drop an effects card just to get points, even yeah. if you can't take advantage of its particular bonus. True, it sometimes helps. I can do this. Get one point. You can always spin, and if you get something, then there's a chance that you can capitalize it. But yeah, so let me take that. that one Tactically, back. it's often best to sort of, if you're going to spin, do it first, just yeah. to sort of see what opportunities open up. Because yeah, sometimes there we go. It pays off. Okay. So that knocks out Sky's blue card. I'm oh, sorry, green card. Because that's a level two. And clear yeah. okay. Okay. Alright, so now, it didn't open up that bonus for you, but it at yeah. least opened up some space if you wanted to get rid of one of your blues, for example. Yeah. Yes. Get rid of one of your blues. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Bring Landino nice. back in. Get that James Landino beat from Amplitude's Break For Me. Although... To be fair, this is the VIP mix, created exclusively for right. Drop Mix. I'm really glad we were able to get him. It's just one of the most impressive things about this game. Oh, and Sky immediately... Sky, I think, has had it with James. <laughs> Alright, and... Ooh. Bumps out your opponent's beats. Kill that Ricky Martin card. I needed that three power to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It's too much. It's too, too much. much. Alright, Sky's got a lead here. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, so I yep. got here. Ooh, so, okay. I've got a couple options here. Um, so I can. Ooh. Right, based on Ooh. the order of play. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I think you could. Don't dare. Don't I yes. dare? <laughs> yeah. All right. All so right. this doesn't matter what order I'm playing, right? Uh, there's another play that would matter. Yeah. There's actually a big play. <laughs> Don't you? All right, all right. This okay, is this is the tiebreaker. Right? Yeah. Yep. So, play that. so Josh drops the green Sam Hunt base card into the mix, and then drops the Skrillex Wild. Three point Guess play. Me. Takes the lead. A big swing on that play. Nice. Love those one point blues. Alright, Scott, what's your comeback? Okay. Centuries by Fallout Boy. Favorite of the Rock Band team. Oh, and lock up that yellow slot. You're sick of the Rulo. Take your draw and stop Josh from playing yellow into that slot. My plan. I game. Would love to get another vocals card. I have this effects card here. It's true. So that's one. So kind of encouraging you to play vocals yeah. heavy deck. Maybe an all acapella deck someday. Yep. I like that. Jonathan, what what would be your dream deck? What would be my dream deck? Your themed dream deck. Oh uh, well, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that we can't talk about yet that I was really psyched to get. Um, we did announce that the Jackson Five is in the game. Yep. That's one that we don't have um, available for demo the today. Art for that is one of my favorites on the, <laughs> on the red one. That was actually yes. one of the three that we showed yes. when we pulled up the card yep. before. Can I tell you who the illustrator is? I think you can talk about the card illustrators, yeah. yeah. His name is Connor Nolan. He's wonderful. Okay. Nice. Shout out to Connor. Yeah. I mean, while while Josh figures out his tactical move here, we can yeah. talk about all the card art I mean, is done by... Got, yeah. Oh, okay. I know everything we'll, about we'll all We'll let Josh the make the play. <laughs> okay. so, let me, He's going to take back a move. Spin. Take a spin get instead. Together, Josh. Get it together. Are you getting nervous? I'm not getting nervous. All right. All right. Scott loses his level two cards. What happened? 
Blue green out of the mix. Josh cannot oh, no. capitalize on that. He could lock up the slot with that blue card. That's up my whole strategy. I know. Oh, well. Yeah, if you drop that level three there, this guy's going to need a level three oh, green to yes. stack that bonus. What oh, well. did you just do? Okay, I still got this. All right. Get that cake beat in there. What else you got? Ooh. All right. Clear out Josh's card. Get a bonus points for controlling that blue cake beat. Tie game still. Okay. All right, Josh. So there's no red. Oh, so you can take well, advantage of that. Draw. I keep forgetting to draw. Excuses, excuses. I know, Ooh. I know. So I, I have, let me, uh, let's see what I can do here. So the, the black and white effects card can be played into any slot. Put that there. So you do that, you're guaranteed to bump out something to skies. All right, scores you a point, gets rid of that That's yellow right. slot. Uh, yeah. Now, put that back there. I think that red bonus real chill mix going on right yeah, now. Yeah, like that. For sure. Saving that one. So one of the goals of sort of the, the rules design about this. Oh, oh, stomps you with that. How'd that feel? Okay. Not great. Do you like it? Not great. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, okay. Tied up. Okay. Again. Going into the draw final. Here. here All right. We go. All right. Can, can you I, do it? Well, so I can do something, yep. which will at least... Oh, wow. So you can do this troll move here. Yep. Yeah. Take away two of Sky's points. No! Yeah. That was horrible! And I can, uh... Yeah, you I only can need to drop one play, more. By playing churches. This just shows <laughs> anyone can play this game. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go, yeah. What time is it? I demand a rematch. I had a whole strategy worked out here. So I think, uh, we got, a. We're gonna not play another game here because we do want to talk a little bit about some high-level strategy, yeah. and then I want to show some of my favorite mixes, <laughs> or at least one in particular. Oh yes, that one is yeah. needs to be shown. Down with the disco, Jose calls it. It's a good one. Yep. Here, I'll I'll prep that if you want to start talking about some uh, um, some of like the other effects cards and everything, and how like deck building is gonna work sure. a little bit. Um. So what you're seeing here is just kind of um, pre-constructed uh, mixes that are themed by genre. So if, um, like as we said at the top of the stream, the starter pack will come with an electronic mix we call controller, a pop mix we call sweets, a rock mix we call the blade, Could you and the, uh, a hip hop mix we call yes. highness. Um, so there's a little icon in the corner of each card you may have noticed that makes it easy to sort of sort those decks into their themed mixes. Um, you can also view those in the collection view of the app to sort of see what cards are in each themed playlist that we've created. But um, there are rules for sort of constructing your own theme mix. Uh, I mentioned earlier that some of the guys in QA, like Nate and Jose, have been thinking about particular instrument combinations that they want to set up. Um, things like if you have a horns heavy deck, you can create some weird sounds, score some bonus points on that. You also saw some of the combo play. Um, if you make a rock deck that's really heavy on guitars, there's a card that takes advantage of that. Um, so the cards are sort of designed to sort of encourage particular instrument synergies that might exist in a deck, certain play styles. Yes, there's the Strings of Fate card that yep. gives you the ability to play an extra guitar on your turn. Thank some you, Sky. Yep. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. Yes, those are, some, those are some. Do you remember the illustrator for that one? I believe his is name it? is Anthony. Okay. We have quite a few. Yes. <laughs> is it Vance? No, no, not the Vance. Vance. Okay, no. sorry. Vance uh, Kelly did oh, some awesome wait, monsters. It, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, in the app, you'll yes. be able to see the illustrators yes. of all the cards. Um, Vance Kelly, I just remember, did some awesome monster art for <laughs> us. I thought I thought he might have done those cards for the he rock. Just made, yeah. Uh, no, it's totally cool. I can't remember them all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Andy Zabla did help Sky direct all of the artists um, and did an awesome job of sort of... <laughs> Um, getting us all of these amazing illustrators and to work with us. And some of the cards are Annie Originals. Oh, yes, yeah, so um, many. Yeah, great harmonics illustrators like Annie, uh, Gianna, Gigi. I'm not going to... Ruggiero. I'm sorry, Gigi, if you're watching. <laughs> if I mispronounced that, I probably Ryan, did. Sean. Uh, Ryan Lesser, Sean Witt. Um, a bunch of folks came Lauren. in and created... Well, yes, Lauren... Um, who, Lauren St. Ange, um, yeah. who's done a bunch of harmonics concept art. I'm just uh, Tony Estone. Oh, Tony Estone. Right? Yeah. So anyway, sorry, name checks to a bunch of harmonics. It's just really cool that a bunch of people who normally do concept art for the game actually have their art adorning cards. It's on right. the box art, which I think 
has been scrolling yes. uh, in the background as we go. Yep. Um, I'm just kind of psyched about the opportunity. You know, a lot of the sort of initial ideas for this uh, project came from my love of not only card games, which hopefully is apparent to people watching the stream, but also collecting music. And we kind of wanted this to feel like, you know, you're sort of browsing this crazy record store, seeing all this original art inspired by music, some that you know, some that you don't know. Um, so it should feel like a really cool, interesting record design or something like that. Um, so we would have illustrators do sets inspired right. by the song. So, um, yes. so since we have been going for about 45 minutes now, I know there are a bunch of people that are watching that didn't get to see the beginning. Okay. So if we want to just kind of rehash that, that intro tech demo while I build this, uh, this mix while you that build we were that talking awesome about. Mix? Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah, let's take it from the top. Do you want to drop a single color card at the mix first? Uh, or... I don't remember the order that this needs to go down in. <laughs> the last one is probably the most important, which is probably yeah, disturbed so it's if it's really... No, it's oh, that no, it's one. Bruno. Wow, yeah, okay. Oh, you're doing that one. Yeah, okay. I'm doing that one. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, like, so set off that beat. Here. Nice. So, the first card you play... So, Josh has played a blue card. Blue cards are beats in drop mix. Uh, so, that kind of sets the tempo of the mix. Are you going to play... Disturbed will be a huge change if you do it now. Yeah. Because... So, let's... Do that. That's the best card. <laughs> so good. So when you drop wild cards into play, they change the tempo. So you can hear that Ricky Martin beat, which is really fast, to slow down a bunch to work with that disturbed vocal and guitar part that's taken over the tempo and key. Now we've got the Afrojack loop in there, which is this really kind of trancey loop. This is a really, really silly mix that Jose discovered. So Skrillex now takes over. So we sped way up, yep. you get that crazy uh, guitar part, and, here's and the, the beat. Uh, here's the last one here. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I love how sometimes it just like, it just opens up sometimes. Yeah. Which happens here, like right when the disturbed chorus starts. Yeah. You gonna snap? <laughs> <Right here. laughs> Very swanky. Sorry. I won't sing along. I'll spare you all on the stream. <laughs> yeah. So that's... Those are the basics here. Right. So yeah, if you missed the beginning, the single color cards represent single parts of a particular track. The multicolored wild cards play different parts of a track based on where you play them, as well as taking over the... Uh, changing up the mix when they're dropped into play. Let me find one of the other mixes that he made so we can have, like, um. background while we talk us talk <laughs> ourselves out here. I can throw some stuff down. Yes, yeah, Sky. Do you have some of your favorites? Sky's uh, a big fan of... So many. ...those new metal drums. Yeah. Totally. Recorded by Harmonix's own Eric Brocious. Get that sweet... Uh, um, flow ride a guitar riff in there. Oh, see, we didn't even play that card at all. That LMFAO bass synth coming in. So good. Yep. You gotta drop a. Uh, which one's gonna be? What vocals you got over there? What happened? We heard a bunch of them on the stream. We haven't heard Church's vocals yet, I don't think. Uh, those are not in the set that we have here today. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that Afrojack beat and that sort of like riser and that LMFAO. Green bass in. Uh, so people are asking a little bit about how like expansions and additional packs are going to work. That's a great question. Sure is. Super uh, great question. So this is the the starter pack is basically what you see here today. Although we're playing not with a full set of cards, but it'll come with 60 cards divided up into four themed playlists of 15 cards each. Um, that will retail with the board, free app download for iOS and Android, phones and tablets. And that'll be uh, manufacturer's retail price of $99.99 this September. Uh, in addition to all of that, you'll be able to expand your mix. Uh, expansions will be available in playlist packs. Playlist packs are additional themed mix uh, pre-constructed uh, sets. Those will be 16 cards because they include a hidden bonus 16th card as well as a 15-card themed playlist, and those playlist packs will be available for $14.99. In addition, uh, there will be Discover Packs. Discover Packs will have five cards, 
Um, they will always be a mix of colors, so you always get yellow, red, blue, and green, as well as uh, bonus effects or wild card. Um, those will not be themed. Those will be sort of assorted. We've created some crazy mixes that mash together. You might have a country bass part with some hip-hop drums uh, and some rock vocals. Uh, and those Discover packs will be available for $4.99. And I know some people were asking whether those were blind mixes or not. Yep. So we spent a long time because we didn't... We wanted to offer people the ability to make sure that they didn't rebuy the same cards. So the package design, unfortunately, I don't have a sample for you today, but we'll have a little window in it which shows you um, which cards are available in that Discover Pack. Uh, and if you already have those cards, then you already have that Discover Pack. Um, those cards will only be available through those packs, <laughs> so you can buy specific packs uh, if you want specific cards. Uh, let's see, if anybody in chat has any other questions, uh, we are going to be wrapping this up in just a couple minutes here. Any cards that maybe you saw in <laughs> in my hand or as we've been looking through that uh, that you would love to hear? I want to make sure everyone knows I'm not a professional DJ. <laughs> I mean, when you're making music that sounds like this, nobody would know. That's I the know. whole point. Small disclaimer. Part of the, part of the fun, So we actually were able to wire this into the sound system in sort of this... Um, this lounge room yeah. at South by Southwest, and it was really fun. Actually, we got fooled. We did a demo at an art gallery. They were running it on this massive Bluetooth speaker. We just walked up to the venue, and we're like, oh, some DJ's playing. And then I'm like, wait, I know that Jason Derulo bass line. Yep. Uh, so I heard that sweet bass line, which is one of my favorite cards, uh, and I realized that not only was it coming from the game, they weren't just playing in demo mode like this, they were actually uh, playing the game live and it just happened to be a really good mix uh, awesome. when we walked up. Um, so, a couple questions here. Um, uh, will the packs be available in stores or directly through us? Stores? <laughs> they, they will be available uh, in stores um, and uh, online retailers as well. Um, yep. Retail, yeah, brick and mortar and online. Uh, uh, how many copies of a card in a deck? Ah, so the current rule is that you can stack multiple copies in your deck, but you can't play a card into the mix if it's already playing. That basically doesn't make any sense musically, um, so that's the rule. So if you want to try and build your deck around a particular combo, you can totally do that, but if you're drawing dupes of that combo, um, you just won't be able to play it simultaneously. Anyway, pretty far in the weeds, but that's, that's the rule that we're testing it right now, and that's how we're rolling with it. A um, couple of people asking about uh, online play. This is just when you're hanging out, sitting uh, sitting with your friend. We do also have two modes. Uh, it's noteworthy to say if you hit that. Two modes that are still hidden, uh, so we will be revealing those in the coming months. Um, uh, not available for purchase yet. Coming out in September. Um, does every song have every instrument available? I don't think so. Uh not entirely. So for some songs, we basically did what made sense. Not every song uh, made sense. So like, for example, um, there's no real melodic part to Tribe Called Quest scenario. Um, there's a bass line, a beat, and then some really awesome vocals. But it didn't make sense to do a red card for that song just because there wasn't a lot going on. Um, so it's an amazing track. Just, just how a lot of hip-hop works is that it's kind of very bass and beat heavy. Um, so anyway, we sort of made... Um, a judgment call whether it made sense to do four different parts for a song, songs that would be really impactful as wilds, or songs that it didn't make sense to do all four parts for. Uh, Drop Mix is um, available on iOS and Android, so it's an app that you download on your phone or tablet, um, and then we are we have this all wired up because yep. we need to run it to the to the stream, but it actually connects via Bluetooth. So um, right. and uh, so you can just take this to a party or your buddy's yep. house or whatever. The board is battery powered, yep. so anywhere you can take your tablet in the board or your phone in the board, you can play that. Yep. Bring Bluetooth uh, speaker. Recommend, to... recommend uh, Bluetooth speaker so you can really kick it out. But... Yep. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Any Anything final else? question? Any other exciting um, stuff? I'll do this just for Josh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, will there be a request system like we have for Rock Band? That's not a bad idea. Uh, I would love that. Yeah. You know, we've been working to sort of create a really diverse mix of music for the first year, but now that people are seeing this, we really want to hear what people are interested in. Right. We pick songs because we think they sound awesome. 
we picked some songs because they're amazing to drop. We announced that we have the final countdown, uh, which is just a hilarious wild card to drop into the mix. I just get that ridiculous synthesizer intro. It's super fun. Yep. Um, so, yeah, you can hook it up to a sound system as well. As long as you can yep. get music from your phone or tablet into that sound system, whether it's through, like, headphone or... I know some of them have Bluetooth now. But, yes, yeah. right. Basically, anything your device can talk to, um, any audio system, you should be able to just link the app to that. Yeah. Um, yeah, people are asking about, like, ongoing expansions. Um, like, I know we have the... The stuff that we have planned for launch, but we would love to continue. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm so, like, you know, this is just a starter set of content. You've sort of seen how you can get a bunch of different mixes with this stuff, but because the order of flake, you know, matters and changes what you hear, as you add more cards, it kind of gets exponentially yeah. uh, more diverse in terms of the types of sounds and crazy combos you'll find. Um, somebody else asking about sleeves. Yep, you can totally put these yep. cards in sleeves. Um, yeah, and I will know that if you're seeing wear on these cards, these are prototype cards, so they're not yeah. the final finish or materials. Uh, Troy from behind the board is asking for more of that Gambino. Oh, yeah, drop that Gambino, Sky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, where, so what deck am I in? It is the Highness Hip Hop deck. Um, no Windows version of the app. Um, it's going to be just iOS and Android. Yes. Um, 300 cards coming this year. Over 300. Over 300 cards Over 300. available in 2017, yes. Yep. <laughs> that horn part from Mega Trader on top of that. so good. Right. Actually, one of my favorite parts of the kid, I don't want to mess it up now because you just I dropped just it, but that's really awesome, like super heavy bass. It's and over, no it also has the Gambino so card, yeah. Um, Jazz Malang asking uh, more than two players. Yes. Uh, so if you were watching before, Sky and I were playing Clash Mode 1v1. So what we were doing is we were actually mixing uh, two of the starter decks together so we could get 30 cards. If you want to play 2v2, you can each have a deck of 15. You can also do 2v1, right? I believe. Yes. Yeah. So it's basically, if y'all were watching, you'd start with at least uh, 30 cards for one-on-one. -on -one. You'd start with at least 15 cards for two-on-two. -on -two. You saw Josh and Sky would each take two actions per turn, draw two cards per turn. If you were playing 2v2, the players would each uh, take one action and, pull, and draw one card on each turn. It's fun because you kind of get to talk out. There's no rule about what order you play in, so players can decide every time, yeah. uh, sort of come up with combos, set up your teammate to, you know, make a big play or something like that. Right. Well, cool. I think we're just going to uh, wrap this up now. Thanks, awesome. everybody, for watching. Thanks yes. for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, I, um, if you guys like this, we'll probably be streaming this again sometime in the future. So if you did like it, then let us know. Uh, also, follow Drop Mix Game on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat if you want to see updates. Um, we'll be posting things on all of those in the time from now up through launch. And, uh, yeah, anything else you want to say? Uh, just that I'm psyched to finally show this off to everybody. Uh, it's been sort of a long time in the making, uh, both on the harmonic side, and then the Hasbro team has done an awesome job sort of developing the process for building out this board and getting the cards printed, building the stack readers and stuff, which is, you know, amazing. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're psyched to show this off. Uh, like Josh said, we're looking forward to future opportunities to not only show it to you, but hopefully get hands-on of future events and stuff. So, yeah. Cool. Um, and uh, for anybody interested, stick around, because at 6.30 we're going to be uh, doing our weekly D&D stream, We Can Be Heroes. Uh, which is very different than what yes. we do here. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll be Just starting that at about 6.30 in about 30 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. Cool. Bye. Bye, everybody.